The tangled wreckage visible above the water is just an indication of what lies beneath the surface. Divers have already been in the water looking for those who were lost and assessing the damage. It's a very dangerous environment around this type of wreckage. And it's dangerous even to do any searching around there because you have to worry about your equipment getting entangled with the wreckage. Kurt Newport, author of Ready to Dive, has been conducting deep water recovery operations for five decades. He knows what the divers working this scene are up against. Any kind of an unstable environment, you know, a diver could go in there, a piece of the structure of the bridge could move or something like that. You know, you could have something that's just, just barely balanced. Maybe the, one day the current will be really strong and then it'll just fall over. I mean, it's really an unpredictable environment. Newport says diving in a river poses its own challenges. The problem is the visibility of the Tapsco River. If it, it's like every other river I've ever been in, it's going to be a few feet at best. One of the first things they will be doing is getting a picture of the area underwater using sonar. They're going to have to map that whole debris field and figure out where everything is. Because to send a diver into an environment like that without knowing where stuff is, is really dangerous. Newport expects divers to be playing a key role for some time. It's going to be cold, hard, dirty work, and uh, they're going to be working really long hours, 12-hour shifts, probably spending hours in the water at a time, so it's going to be a very hard job. Mark Seagraves, News 4.